Up until now, we've been talking about the Trace 700 simulation as if it was calculating every day of the year separately. And while Trace can do that, that is not what happens by default. Using default Trace data, you are actually calculating using a reduced year sequence of day types. In order to understand a reduced year sequence, it's best to start with an actual sequence, as we have been taught that since first grade. If we take a small subsection of the year, in this case, we're going to take Wednesday through Friday, July 12th through July 14th. If we look at the data from those days, it goes something like this. July 12th, pretty standard profile. July 13th, very slightly different. And July 14th, a little bit more different, but nothing substantial. So the question is, why waste all this time calculating days that are nearly identical? Especially if you're familiar with the time it takes to calculate some Trace 700 files. As a result, Trace defaults to reduce your calculations. In reduced year calculations, there are only a few day types, weekday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Holidays are treated as Sundays. So the question is, how can we calculate the energy in a 31-day month using only four day types? If we look at July in the reduced year calendar, we notice there are 18 weekdays, five Saturdays, five Sundays plus one holiday, or six Sundays, and five Mondays. If we do a sample calc and say that Trace ran through four days, on a weekday it calculated 100 kilowatt hours, on a Saturday it calculated 40 kilowatt hours, 30 kilowatt hours on Sunday, and 110 kilowatt hours on Monday, because it had to make up for the drift points that it fell to over the course of the weekend. That is why Monday is calculated separately from weekdays, because in a typical building, 